Okay, welcome to unit two. Uh, let's uh, talk about rhythm. Now we've vocalized the uh, quarter notes um, and eighth notes in unit one, but now you'll notice in unit two we have uh, a quarter rest, the squiggly line going up there. Okay, now the quarter rest, you can say the word rest there, or you could simply just say nothing, all right, and just think, um, uh, you know, the word rest in your head or think that there's just one beat there. Uh, a quarter note equals one beat, quarter rest equals one beat as well. <clears throat> All right, so let's try going through and vocalizing some of these rhythms. Uh, let's start with letter A. We're going to do it straight using da's and debas. So be one, two, ready, go. Da, rest, deba, deba. If I do it on the piano, one, two, ready, go. Da, rest, deba. Okay, uh, let's try letter B and let's swing this one, all right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down the five finger scale starting on G with my pinky. One, two, ready, go. D, ba, D, ba, da, rest. So again, three, four. D, ba, D, ba, da, rest. And I can also go up the five finger scale. Three, four. D, ba, da, da, rest, okay? Uh, let's try letter D, okay? And I'm going to do, uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the triad, okay? One, two, swing it now. D, ba, da, D, ba, da. All right, let's try it again. Three, four. D, ba, da, D, ba, da. Okay, so now let's uh, try playing uh, any rhythm. Let's do the first time swung and the second time straight. So let's try letter G. One, two, ready, go. D, ba, D, ba. Ba, two, ready, go. Deba, deba, rest. Deba. Okay. Um, so we can use that C uh, major five finger scale. You, know, you could also do the C minor five finger scale. Um, uh, we did the minor five finger scale in the improvisation section of unit one. So you could use that five finger scale as well. Let's try that using uh, letter H. We'll just go right on up and uh, down the. Um, the five finger minor scale. You know what? A good exercise is do it with both hands. So three, four. Okay. Um, so you see how I can go up, I can go down, I can play major five finger, I can do minor five finger, I could do uh, the triads, I could do minor triads as well. Okay. Um, now let's uh, try vocalizing a rhythm, okay? I want you to vocalize a rhythm while I play an accompaniment, okay? So let's try it on, um, oh, let's do uh, letter A just to make it simple. One, two, ready, go. Let's try that on letter B. One, two, ready, go. D, ba, D, ba, da, rest. 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 Try letter um, D. One, two, ready, go. D, ba, D, oh, I'm sorry, ready, go. D, ba, da, D, ba, da. And teachers, you can see I'm doing that little uh, teacher part there, right? I can change the rhythm of the right hand if I want to kind of coincide with the rhythm that the student is playing. Um, if you wanted to, you can also play that if you're watching this as a student, try playing that left hand, okay? Which is uh, C, A with the thumb, second finger on B flat, and then back to A with the thumb. And you can use the notes E and B flat, just thumb and middle finger, all right? And then do a rhythm to it. So watch letter A. One, two, ready, go. Da, rest, Letter C. Now you notice this down here is just quarter notes. 
Now, if that's too difficult for you, don't worry about it. You can come back to this part of the DVD, you know, after you've gone through the rest of the DVD. Remember, you can, you know, flop around on this. You don't have to do it specifically in order. Um, okay, so the last thing is let's combine any one of these, uh, any two of these uh, rhythms into a two measure rhythm. So let's take letter F and letter G and do it one after another. Okay, uh, let's just clap it and say it this time. We'll do it straight. One, two, three, four. D ba rest, D ba D ba D ba D ba rest, D ba. Okay, so you could do that with any of the rhythms. You can combine them into two, three, four, five, six, seven, or even eight measures long. Okay, once again, if you put these on index cards, right, you can boop, 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 move them around and uh, come up with quite a few different combinations. Okay, so that's it for uh, rhythm in unit two. Make sure you know, just constantly keep quizzing yourself on this rhythm stuff because rhythm is such a key element to music, all right? Um, a lot of times when improvising, it's not so much that you're trying to find the right notes, it's that you're trying to get uh, some good rhythm, you're trying to find some interesting rhythms. So practicing these rhythms will help. It keeps adding to your arsenal of different rhythms that you know. Um, so let's move on to the ear training section.